In the previous tutorial, we created a network using NetEdit. In this tutorial, we'll run vehicles in the simulation. We start with looking at the files that we have created, that is the net file and the additional file. We open the files in Notepad++ and look at different edges, junctions and traffic lights that we created. Next, we look at the additional file that we have created from the last tutorial and see that there are bus stops created in the additional file. Next, we create a sumo configuration file tutorial.sumo.cfg with the file extension .sumo.cfg. Since these are XML files, there are tags to describe each attribute. The sumo config file starts with the configuration tag. There can be several tags within the configuration tag. Here we talk only about the input tag. Within input tag, we give the net file, route files and additional files. We have created the network and additional files so far. And we look into how to create the route file now. First, we will make routes to run just one vehicle and understand how route files work. We start with the route tags. We write the vehicle ID and the depart time together with edges it traverses once the route file is made. Now we open the simulation sumo cfg file in sumo and run the simulation. We increase the time delay to have a better look at the simulation. We switch from the standard to the real world mode to have a better view of the simulation. We saw that the default vehicle created is a passenger car, which is the default vehicle in Sumo. Now we have created a single vehicle and ran it in a simulation. Now let's try to stop the vehicle at a couple of stops from the stops that we have already created. Let's go back to a route file and within the route tag, let's add the stops. We give the stop name and the stop duration, that is for how long we want a vehicle to stop at a particular stop. In this case, we gave the stops to the vehicle in the route file. Let's run the simulation one more time. We see that the passenger car stops at the given two stops. We have seen how to create a single vehicle. Now let's say we want to create a flow of vehicles where we know the frequency of vehicles in the simulation. We comment out the vehicle that we created in the route file and this time we create a flow within the route file. Flow has a flow ID, begin time so when the vehicles start in the simulation End time is the end of vehicles in simulation. And period is the interval of vehicles starting in the simulation. We will discuss type in a moment. Then we have route edges to be traversed and stops as discussed previously.
Now coming to type. We describe type in the additional file. Type is the vehicle type distribution which we define here. We have defined two types of grams each with probability of 0.5 which means that there is 50% chance of either gram to appear in the simulation. We can also describe the different colors and maximum speed, length, width, etc. For both tram 1 and tram 2, the V class is tram. Finally, we provide vehicle distribution type to type 1 with vehicle types tram 1 and tram 2. We see that the first tram starts at time t is equal to 0. Second tram of another type starts at t is equal to 50 seconds since the period or time interval is 50 seconds. And we see that the tram waits at the stop for 30 seconds. And every 50 seconds, a new tram of either tram 1 or tram 2 type is created in the simulation. Now let's create a flow of trucks and passenger cars in the reverse direction. We created flow 2 in the same way with type 2 vehicle distribution and the route edges that it should traverse with two stops. Then we create vehicle distribution type 2 in the additional file with vehicle 1 and vehicle 2, VEH1 and VEH2. We give the colors and V class of each vehicle type. We have 0.5 probability of a vehicle being a truck or a passenger car. V class for trucks is truck and car for cars it is passenger. They are predefined in sumo. Now we run the simulation once again. We see a tram and a truck. The truck waits at the set stop for 30 seconds. At 50 seconds another set of vehicles start from flow 1 and flow 2. Thus, we have created a small simulation scenario. Thank you.